Hello all, welcome to rotternews.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we import or export approval rules for the PPM in Oracle Fusion. So let us understand how do we import or export the BPM rules. So for this, we use a tool called SOA Composer. It's a browser-based tool and using which, you know, we can just download the business rules and also we can upload. And you require a Fusion role called BPM admin role. And what all we can do using SOA Composer, you can export nothing but you can download and you can also import nothing but you can upload the file. Generally, when you download, it generates an archive file called .jar. And similarly, when you want to import, you have to upload the jar file. Okay. And there are a couple of important points you have to note while performing the import or export. The first thing is the BPM admin role. And very important thing is the source and target environment should be on the same patch level. Generally, in the Fusion, what happens is you will have a patch getting applied on every quarter. So assuming that like, let us say you are in the development environment and you want to upload your changes into a testing environment, which may have a different patch level, right? So you have to be very careful when you're uploading your particular patch or particular your particular jar file into another environment. That's very important one. And also when you're using this particular one, right? So this particular rule, this particular jar file will have only the changes which you are doing it. Nothing but it will have only the information about the roles. That's it. It's not the actual, the composite information it will just have the only rules information okay and when you're trying to upload when you want to download it right make sure that you commit the changes into your particular composite so that you can get the information in your archive file okay now so this is one of the sample where assuming that i just want to modify this particular fin gl general approval and i added a custom rule called i participant and i added one of the custom rule here ot sample business rule now how do you identify whether when we download the archive, is it having our particular role or not, right? So in this particular example, I just added one participant, added the business role, and I committed here, this particular icon, the th fourth icon, okay? I committed the changes into the future instance. And then how do we download it? You just navigate to your SOVA Composer. So the SOVA Composer URL is nothing but your Fusion ERP URL slash SOVA slash Composer. On the right side, below username, you just click on Export or Import. It shows an option called export SOVA changes and click on that. And then once you click on that, it will open this particular pop-up and it will get downloaded. It takes a couple of minutes, generally one to five minutes. And then once it is 100% completed, you just click on download. It will download a jar file, okay? And just this is how the jar file looks like. So in this jar file will have all the rules and for each particular composite, identify the, your respective composite. So you have to be very careful for identifying. So there is no direct name here. If you observe the composite name, which the particular so here we have modified, we have added a rule for fin GL general approval, right? And if you observe here, it is a little bit different. Fin GL J R N L ent entries, right? So a little bit different. You just we need to uh, identify that carefully. And once you open this particular main jar file, it will have the jar files for each particular composite. And, over, and again, open this particular jar file also. In that, you'll find the respective task as well as rules inside that. And also, within this particular jar, you'll find one more folder called Meta INF. This has the information about the list of composites which are available in this particular jar file. Okay. So, and how do we import? This is for the downloading. This is for downloading. If you want to upload, what we have to do is you just need to you just need to make sure that you just include only the jar file which is required to be uploaded. Now, in our case, we want to upload only FinGL journal in the target instance. You remove all the jar files except this particular jar file. And also from the meta INF meta meta text file also, you just include only this particular FinGL general entries approval composite and, and remove all the remaining entries and then perform import, okay? So let us try that in our, uh, maybe from the instance. So let me try refreshing this one. So I'm in the SOVA Composer now. I'll just click on Export, Import. Just click on Export and click on Export again. So this will take a couple of minutes or maybe let's see how it takes. And let me show you the, the composite which we have changed. So it was the pin GL general approval. Just click on this.
Yeah. So here you can click on assign is and just see this is one of the custom rule which I added. Okay. Right. You just have a, a simple participant and a dummy rule I can say. Okay. Not the real business condition, but just to understand how do we upload a specific thing or how do we download when we download does it really have our changes or not right that's a reason i just added this one so let's wait for a couple of uh maybe uh i think it should not take more time there may be one more minute and time being what i can do is i'll show you the existing jar file which i already downloaded so yeah so this is how it looks like so i prefer you just try to install the 7zip archive uh, exe and i'll just double click here and it got open this is a jar file actually so a java archive and here what i have done is i just make sure that it gets open with my 7zip archive that's the reason i was able to open it very easily so it has all these particular things and let me open the fin gl general entries approval composite just open this and click on fin gl general approval task and this particular ta task file open with notepad okay open with notepad notepad plus plus whatever it is and in this one you can observe that does it really have the changes which we have modified right so this is my this is the name OT test approval you can just observe that so this is the one which i have okay this is there so nothing but the java the archive file which we downloaded is having the latest changes which we want to upload into target environment okay now i can just go back and in the met inf open this text file and here also fill gl journal okay this is the one which we want to upload into target environment so now how do we upload let us see that so before uploading to target environment just have a backup of this file okay so i just have a backup now i'll open the existing jar file here and except this particular gl journal entries i'll just simply delete the other entries like this and here also I'll just delete the other one. That's it. And similarly, open the meta INF and here open this particular file. And here, pin GL. Okay, 14th line. So I'll just remove the other lines. I'll copy this 14th line and remove the other entries. Close this one okay close this one close this where is our jar file okay just open this once again validate whether you really have the changes or not yep we have only one jar file i mean one jar file and met inf check it how many entries it is having okay there is something wrong here so revalidate in okay this is the one which we want to have it i'll copy this and I'll remove other things. I'll close this one. If it is not saving properly, of course we have other way. Let's try. Okay, there is something wrong with this one. What I can do is, what I can do is, so here, I'll just, extract here line number 14 you copy this okay i save the file now open the archive okay just drag and drop the latest archive in this one and got replaced okay it is, it is having only the this one a single jar file which we want to upload now the archive file which we want to upload is ready right and you can consider you can compare this right the existing jar file which we downloaded was 653 but the one which we want to upload is just 23 kb so make sure that when you're uploading just upload the one which you want to upload don't upload all the things it will replace the other set of rules which are not really required yep it got you know like uh, completed and you can just click on download so it will download the latest jar file here like this java archive okay now let us see how do we upload same thing just click on export import and click on import sova changes now choose the file so here this is a file which you want to choose it choose this particular one the latest one nothing but the 123 kb uh, the one 23 kb sorry click on open and click on import so that's it 
import succeeded it means that it was we are able to upload successfully to the instance that's it so, so this is how we can import or export your so archive from one instance to another instance thank you